number of key activities going on in addition to the preparations for landing. Jeff Williams is making some of the initial setup and camera configurations as they prepare for the next steps in the checkout of the newly arrived uh, treadmill that's known as Colbert. The flight control team refers to it as T2, uh, but they're continuing with the initial activation and checkout. And once uh, Williams has all the cameras and other equipment set up for the monitoring, they'll begin with what's called an unmanned speed characterization checkout. They'll use that opportunity to get video for the ground specialist, as you heard, uh, setting up a number of cameras to get various vantage points of that test, and all of that will be downlinked for the uh, specialist to be able to analyze and ensure that the treadmill is working properly and as expected before they begin with the manned test that will have some of the crew members actually running on the treadmill. Those initial runs will be uh, very choreographed and highly observed planned runs to characterize the performance of the treadmill before officially activating it for exercise. Each of the crew members perform at least two, hour, two hours of exercise each day, either using the treadmill already on board or some of the, the cycle ergometers or the resistive exercise devices that are on board. All of that to help minimize bone and muscle loss that's experienced during long duration spaceflight. More of uh, information on this uh, new hardware can be found online, but otherwise this is a good uh, depiction of the hardware. This is a second treadmill in addition to the other that has been on board uh, for a number of years. This one has a wider track for the crew members and also some other enhanced capabilities. The crew members have to wear a, har a harness in, able to, uh, in order to use the treadmill. That, of course, uh, because they're in a reduced gravity environment and they need the harness essentially to hold them down to the treadmill, allowing them to run on it. These are some various views of the uh, treadmill as it was loaded and as it arrived on the space station. Again, it took several days of the uh, crew member's time to unload, pack, and assemble the treadmill, and they've uh, now arrived at the point where they can begin to activate it. Earlier in the crew day, they installed an accelerometer, which will uh, track the treadmill's speed. And uh, once that was installed, they've been able to now to proceed with the other activation steps and setting up the computer in preparation for these initial checkout 